A North Texas family made a mistake, and it cost them dearly in the three months since it happened. We first introduced you to the family from Iraq right after they settled in Dallas. They had their life savings stolen right out of their car. Well, tonight, J.D. Miles takes you back to visit the family who now is living off the generosity of others, and they also have some hope after police make an arrest in their case. This is a heartbreaking story of an immigrant couple that's had to rely on extended family in Baghdad to cover their rent since a group of car burglars stole the money they brought with them to start a new life here. But they say a recent arrest has them encouraged that they may eventually get it back. We live in the dark house. We live in a dark house because Ahmed Al Najjar says he's trying to save what little money he and his wife have. People from my family, they help us. On some friends, they support us. It was back in November when we first met Ahmed and his wife Amel at their Greenville Avenue apartment. Days earlier, security camera video captured a group of thieves in the parking garage breaking into cars. They stole $100,000 out of the Iraqi immigrant's SUV that was going to be deposited in a bank account the next morning. Pray for God every night to maybe someone say anything about or inform the police about this person who took the money and destroyed our family. Amel has been forced to drop out of law school since the crime to look for work, along with Ahmed, so they can support their two kids. Because next month I, can, I cannot pay the, the, the rent. Maybe I will stay in the street with my kids. Yeah, the house but, is still like a yeah, dark. It's a dark. Dark it's house. It's not easy. All the light we turn off. The couple says they've been told by Dallas police that one of the suspected thieves has been arrested, but it's not the one who has the money. Ahmed worked on a U.S. base during the Iraq war and hopes Americans will return the favor by helping his family now. I will be asking the family for the soldiers who work in the Baghdad or another country to help me because I have their sons. With the help of relatives, the couple has pulled together $5,000 in reward money for anyone who can help them find the thief that still has their life savings. In Dallas tonight, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. J.D., thank you. Let's hope it can be found.